Ooh, I switched up the look on you guys today. Got full glam, but you know, sweater. You gotta, you gotta find some balance in life, okay? Y'all, I haven't like straightened my hair in so long. So whenever I see myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, who, who is she? I'm so lost, mm, girl. I don't know about you, but I feel like the longer that we sit here in quarantine, the more people are starting to build their at-home gyms. If you are someone who's at the start of your fitness journey or just have no idea where to even start with like what equipment you should use at home, what equipment will give you the most versatility that won't take up as much space, then this is the video for you, so keep watching. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jessica, aka Miss Fit Curls, and welcome back to my channel. Through this channel, I really want to inspire you guys to hashtag just move and live your healthiest and best life because I really feel like through commitment, dedication, and consistency, you could literally make any goal possible. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through my home gym. Well, it's not really a home gym. It's more so my workout equipment that I have here at home. I'm going to be showing you guys what I have and why I have it and what's going to give you the most bang for your buck, especially if you are someone who is on a tight budget. And I'm also going to be showing you equipment that you could get the most versatility out of, meaning that you could use it to replace exercises that you were to do at the gym or just a variety of movements for a full body workout. Now, I will say that the longer I've been at home, the more I've been building up the variety of equipment I have here just because you guys know me, okay? And if you know me with proteins, then the same thing pretty much applies for the rest of life. And that's just that I get bored so fast. But a lot of this equipment I had before all this madness started and I've literally survived just fine. But before we get started in today's video, I do wanna throw out a disclaimer that whatever I have here, first off, I'm not affiliated with anyone. Second off, you do not need to have this equipment in order to have an effective workout at home. You can have an effective effective body weight only workout. You do not have to have a lick of equipment at home, but this is just for people who are wanting to kind of expand on the variety that they already have at home or that they don't have at home and they want to start incorporating different things into their home workouts as well. Okay, so the first piece of equipment I'm going to be showing you guys today are going to be resistance bands. I have a plethora of different resistance bands, so we're just gonna go kind of down the line. The first resistance bands that I'm gonna be showing you are going to be long resistance bands, which are also called pull-up assist bands. I've featured this in my channel before, but now I have a little bit more. So I have two types of these resistance bands. One of them is going to be a red resistance band, and that one's going to have lighter resistance. And the second one is going to be a black resistance band, and that one's gonna have slightly more resistance or slightly more help, I guess you would say, if you were to do a pull up with these bands. However, even though they're called pull up assist bands, they could be used for way more than that. I use them for pull ups, I use them for dips, I also use them for lateral raises. I also I did lateral raises and I did this. I also use them for lateral raises, I use them for front raises, I use them for shoulder presses, I use them for a lot of different things. You could get really creative with them, you could kind of loop them around whatever you have above you that's safe and secure, and you could start doing lat pull downs. You could get really creative with your movements. You can do bent over rows. You can do a lot with this. So I like to use these bands just because of the versatility that they can give you to your workouts. And you can mimic a lot of dumbbell or barbell exercises with these resistance bands and that's what I like so much about them. You can also use these resistance bands in addition to dumbbells or barbells. If you have two of each resistance band, like two of the same kind, please, please for the love of God, don't do this with two different kinds of resistance bands. But if you have two bands of the same resistance, you could put them on either side of a barbell and you could do, and you could add a little bit more resistance to your squat or your deadlift or whatever the case is. Now, in addition to the long resistance bands I have, I also have short resistance bands. So these are going to be smaller resistance bands that you could put around your thighs or your ankles. And I primarily use this for glute day. I have three different types of resistance bands, short resistance bands. I have a green one that's going to give you the lightest amount of resistance. I have a yellow one that that's gonna give you the second most amount of resistance. And I have a, I guess you could call it an orange or red resistance band. And that one's going to give you the most resistance. I like to use these resistance bands to really activate my glutes before I go and smash out a glute workout. However, you could use these for a lot of different things. You could also use them in your duck walks whenever you are warming up for your glute day or your leg day, whatever the case is. You could put these around your ankles and you could start doing duck walks with these or just as part of your workout as well. Like I mentioned in a previous video as well. You could also put these around your arms. Some people like to use them for push-ups as well. It's completely up to you and your preference, but however, those are some things that you can use these smaller bands for. The next type of short resistance band I have is going to look a little bit thicker because it 
is called normally a hip band. A hip band, it looks just like a resistance band, except it normally gives a little bit more resistance and a little bit, it has a little bit more, I guess, like tug, you can say. They are going to be a little bit thicker. A lot of times people use this in addition to their hip thrust. It's going to be the main thing that you really see this for or to do standing leg kickbacks or whatever the case is if these smaller resistance bands don't give enough of a resistance for you. However, these hip bands are used to primarily add more emphasis in your hips or your glutes so that way you could activate those muscles a little bit more whenever you're performing different exercises. I just carry one of these here just because sometimes I like to have a little bit more resistance into my glute activation or leg days at home. And the last type of resistance band I have are going to be just regular regular resistance bands that you normally see at the store. So these are going to have a handle attachment. You have a light, medium, and heavy resistance. You're going to attach the handles on either side and these you could really like you could really use these for a lot. Being that they have those handles you aren't really put in an awkward position. You could really use these for a lot of versatile movements I guess you can say. You could leave use these for rows. You could use these for lateral raises, frontal raises. You could use these for reverse flies. You could use these for a lot of different things. You could be creative. You could really get into overhead presses with these, especially since they do have a handle. Some people even use them for deadlifts. Some people even use them for RDLs. There's really a lot of different things that you guys can do, and it just provides a little bit more comfort for you during your workout. These were actually the first resistance bands that I ever got, just because they have the handle, and you could take the handle off. You could use them as normal resistance bands, or you could take the, or you could put the handle on and use them for whatever workout that you want to use them for that day. The next piece of equipment I have for you guys are going to be my ankle weights. I really like these ankle weights, especially on glute day or lower body day, because they really do add a lot of emphasis into your glute kickbacks, into your standing leg raises. You can use them for abduction. You can use these for a lot of different things. You can't really, I feel like, use these for as much, just because you could only use them for so much. However, the thing with these are the weights in these ankle weights are removable. So you, if you want to have a lighter weight, say you want to have about one, two, three pounds. You could take the weights out of the ankle weight and you could hold those individual weights and you can do arm circles to really warm up your shoulders before you go into a upper body or shoulder workout. You can remove these weights and do a lot of different things with them, but I really like these ankle weights because they are adjustable. So they aren't just one weight. And then if you want to do different workouts in a same superset, but you need different weights for each movement, then you don't have to necessarily take off the whole thing and then put on new sets of weights. No, that just takes way too much time and your girl don't have time for that when she's in the middle of getting a workout in, okay? So I like to just have the idea of just unzipping the top and you can remove a weight and it's so simple and so easy. I absolutely love it. I don't really like to mess around with a whole bunch of different ankle weights, especially at home. I want it to be nice and compact and I want to be able to use it as efficiently as possible. So the fact that these ankle weights could go up to 20 pounds each and I could adjust the weight just by zipping up the top, taking out a weight, and closing it back like nothing ever happened. Listen, Linda, efficiency is key at home, okay? Whatever I can do to be efficient and minimize the time of me messing around with things, that's what we're gonna do today, honey, okay? Now, this next piece of equipment is probably one of the most favorite pieces of equipment I have just because you can really use these for a lot and I really advocate for these, but these are going to be my loadable dumbbells. So this dumbbell kit I got on Amazon and it is a 40, I, th I think it's either a 40 or 50 pound, I think it's a 40 pound um, dumbbell kit. So each dumbbell can be up to 20 pounds. And then if you want to just use one dumbbell and load up all the way on there, making I think a 37.5 pound dumbbell, you can as well. And I honestly like to do that, especially if I'm going to be doing my sumo squats. I like to kind of put all the weight on one because that's going to be the highest amount of weight that I have here at home. And I just do my sumo squats with those or if I need a higher weight for single arm movements, then I'm able to adjust it that way too. So you could really go from 2.5 pounds all the way to 37.5 pounds just in this dumbbell kit. If you want to be able to have access to a whole bunch of different weights, but not necessarily have to accommodate for all the space like a normal dumbbell set of five to 30 or whatever the case is and have that much room for them, have the racks for them and everything. This is just a really efficient way of doing it. So basically it comes with four five pound plate. It also comes with four 2.5 pound plates and you just load up how much weight that you need for whatever movement or whatever exercise you're about to do. And it's literally that easy. And I just absolutely love it so much. That whole kit I think costs about 
$50, but it was $50 well spent. I also have some other single weight dumbbells, and that's going to be my blue dumbbells. They are going to be 10 pounds, and I also have one 15 pound dumbbell. But other than that, that's really all the equipment I have as far as dumbbells go. And I kid you not, dumbbells can be so beneficial because you could turn any like barbell workout into a dumbbell workout. You could really do a lot with dumbbells. You could work out literally your entire body with dumbbells. If you need to start somewhere, I highly recommend starting with loadable dumbbells, especially if you're just kind of getting to know what weight you need or what weight you want for different movements. I, I highly recommend having, every everyone should at least have a few pairs of dumbbells or a loadable dumbbell kit at home. Okay, so this piece of equipment I got, I recently just got and I'm so excited about it because do you know how hard it has been to find dumbbells during these times when everyone's looking for dumbbells? Oh my gosh. When I found this, like it was my new baby. Like I don't care, but this is going to be a barbell. I got a 45 pound barbell and it is a two inch Olympic barbell and I could not be happier. With this barbell, you do have to have obviously a little bit more space at home and this barbell just lives in our garage because that is where I'm going to be slowly merging my home gym to is going to be the garage as I get more equipment shipped in. However, with this barbell, I love having one just because you can really get some heavy lifts in with this, especially if you have some Olympic weight plates that you could load onto the barbell, which is exactly what I have, but I'll get into that in a minute. So with this barbell, I really obviously like to do them for squats. I like to have a barbell for deadlifts. I like to have them for RDLs with hip thrusts, with a lot of things you could do this barbell with. You could do bent over rows with them. You can do shoulder presses with them. You could really do a lot with this, especially if you are someone who is trying to build some lean muscle. But I like to use a barbell not only for your main lifts, so like your squats, your deadlifts, your hip thrusts, but also I like to use them for clean press, lunges, lateral lunges. Like you could literally use a barbell for your entire body. So if you have the space capability at your home or in your garage, I highly recommend getting a barbell, especially if you want to have some heavier lifts at home. But with having a barbell also comes having weight plates so if you want to be able to add weights onto your barbell then I highly highly suggest that if you get a barbell you get some weight plates that fit it first of all because there'll be some one inch weight plates that don't fit a two inch barbell and I almost made that mistake okay so learn from Jessica's mistakes you don't want to do that so you want to make sure that you have the appropriate weight plates for your barbell and the ones I have are from cap barbell they are just regular cast iron cheap weight plates these are really the cheapest I feel like that you would get them for. Now you can go a little bit above and beyond if your budget allows so and you can get some bumper Olympic weight plates. Those are going to provide a little bit more I guess cushion or comfort whenever you are putting your weights back onto the ground because they are more so made for that bounce or that absorbance I guess whenever you put your weights back on the ground. And if you are one of those people who like to slam their weights down on the ground then you definitely want bumper weight plates, just saying. And something that I've really learned, especially now that I have a barbell and weight plates, is the importance of having a squat rack. Not just for squats, but for other things too because now that I have like all this fancy you know equipment like a barbell and plates it's really hard to be able to do some squats without a squat rack so if you want to safely and effectively be able to do these at home you are going to be needing a squat rack as well so some of these things are a little bit more of an investment so like with the barbell the weight plates and also the squat rack you are looking at a couple hundred dollars at this point so if that's not something that's in your budget I would really stick to some dumbbells I would really stick to some resistance bands because you can have an effective workout at home, a full body workout with just those items and those are going to cost you a fraction of what a barbell weight plates and a squat rack will cost you as well. However, if you are looking for like me to add a little bit more variety to your equipment at home or just say that you've already had some dumbbells, you've already had some resistance bands waiting at home and you are just looking for some extra variety into your at home workout, then I would highly recommend getting a barbell and some plates that you could throw on. You don't have to get a whole seven 
foot barbell like I did. You can get a five foot one inch barbell as long as it holds the amount of weight that you are going to be loading onto it. So if your barbell only has a 300 pound capacity, make sure that you aren't lifting over 300 pounds just to keep the safety at home because some barbells can hold only 300 pounds. Some can hold up to a thousand. Just kind of depends on what you're needing at home with your at home workouts. Now with all this equipment, especially with a barbell, you can get a barbell pad. That's something that I have as well. Now I don't recommend using a pad for squats just because it reduces the stability of your bar on your back and you I feel like you don't have as much control of it whenever it's pushed so far back on a barbell pad and I feel like overall it just promotes bad form and there are some articles out there that kind of support this but I don't really see any hardcore evidence however that's just a preference I have however I do use a barbell pad for a hip thrust because honey you cannot do hip thrusts without a pad I think my hips would cry like they would seriously cry and break and bruise. I would not ever in your life do hip thrusts without a barbell pad. So if you plan on doing hip thrusts at home with a barbell pad, or if you just plan on doing hip thrusts at the gym and just kind of want to dabble in with it, make sure that you have a barbell pad. So that way, one, you don't have to use that grimy old sweaty barbell pad that everyone and their mama uses at the gym, but you could have your nice, clean, well padded barbell pad. The one I have is from Amazon. It is from Bear, and I absolutely love this barbell pad just because it is really thick it is really comfortable whenever I do my hip thrust no matter what weight I have on them and I just overall like the quality of this it's really lasted me a few years at this point so I really do recommend and like this equipment so before I even ever got the barbell the weights the squat rack or anything I did get a flat bench so before I could afford an adjustable bench I did get a flat bench just because I was trying to be budget friendly and this flat bench I actually got for $30 so it really wasn't bad at all but with a flat bench you could really do a lot you could do single arm movements with whenever you go into your rows or your reverse flies to add that stability or support whenever you're doing those movements you could also do a chest press you could also do a chest fly there's a lot that you can do on a bench or use a bench for you can do jump overs for your abs or just an aerobic workout as well there's a lot that you could use a bench for I use them for my hip thrust it is really stable so I really do enjoy that for $30 I could have a pretty stable bench whenever I go ahead and do my hip thrust but overall this was a good buy so shout out to you Walmart you did the thing and I also like to use these for step ups too whenever I do step ups I like to hold my dumbbells and I like to use something that I can step up and have my knee be parallel or perpendicular to my hip or the floor I don't, I don't know how all that works but anyway I like to use them for step ups the next piece of equipment I really have had for so long and I just absolutely love having these at home are going to be exercise balls exercise balls can be so great for ab workouts because you can do so many ab workouts at home with just exercise balls oh my gosh especially if you want to add that instability factor like say that your abs are popping they're on point the strength is there now you want to switch it up a little bit this is a great way to switch it up you can do your Russian twists on these you could do your sit-ups on these you can do your toe touches on these you could do so much with exercise balls I just absolutely love them so much I have a couple different sizes I have a 55 a 65 and a 75 I want to say and I just absolutely love these you do not have to get all three sizes just stick with one the pink one is the one I've had for so long and that's why it has so many marks on it but absolutely will I never let go of this baby because it has been through some pretty rough times okay it's been with me since the start of my fitness journey all the way to where I am right now and I would not be the person I am here today actually just kidding I would but anyway that's beside the point so I really do like exercise balls because you can really incorporate a lot of different upper body movements with these and lower body movements with these as well you could do your glute bridges you could do your hand hamstring curls there's so much so much you can do with exercise balls you could really get a good workout with your entire body just with an exercise ball so I really highly recommend this especially if you are someone that wants to work on your stabilizer muscles as well because those are just important as all your other muscles too okay let me tell you the next piece of equipment I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be the aerobic step I like to use this especially for leg day because a lot of times I will do knee tucks with them and that's a movement I have done on my Instagram as well so if you're 
aren't following me on Instagram, I'm going to make sure to leave my handle right here, right here, where I think right here. So that way you guys could check out that workout. But I've done, I've shown an entire workout using an aerobic step and it really just like saves lives. You can use this for not only aerobic activities, but you could really use them for raised lunges. So you can put your front foot on top of the aerobic step and then you can go in and do your dumbbell lunges as well. You could really add a lot of depth to your lunges or squats by just using an aerobic step and I absolutely love this thing. It really just like slaps you in the face and switches things up a little bit at home. So I really do like it, especially if you have a lot of your base movements down. This is another way to kick it up. So the next piece of equipment I'm going to have is, I don't really like consider it as equipment, but because this is primarily just for rehab purposes are going to be these lacrosse balls. I absolutely love these lacrosse balls. I do not use them for workouts at all. Actually, I just use them for rehab and therapy. So I used to work at a chiropractic office that also had sports massage therapy, all this stuff. And I learned through working there that lacrosse balls can be really good for therapy and just rehab in your back or just different parts of your body that are needing a little bit of TLC I guess you can say I don't want to give any recommendations or what to do with these balls just because I feel like I'm not certified be able to be able to give that information however I would just do your research go to a chiropractic office research online whatever the case is but make sure it's from an intelligent human being and get that information for yourself but I absolutely love this these these have been a game changer for areas in my body that are just feeling a little bit more tight or just need a little bit more rehabilitation I can't get quite to my chiropractor as frequently so so that's exactly what I use them for to kind of ease up the pain or ease up the pressure until I'm able to see him. But hands down, I highly recommend having a lacrosse ball as long as you know what you're doing with them and going to go see a chiropractor because you don't know what you're doing to yourself day in and day out, okay? Okay. And then the next piece of equipment I'm going to be talking about are going to be suspension ropes. So I recently got these and they were cheap. They were like $15 and I wasn't sure about it because everyone absolutely preaches TRX ropes. So I was just like, is this really going to be safe for me at home? However, I absolutely love these things so far. So what they do is you can lock these into the top of your door at home and you can use these for any kind of movement. So you can use them for incline push-ups. You can use them for lat pull downs. You can use them for ab workouts. You can use them for glute bridges, hamstring curls. There's so much that you can use suspension ropes for and I absolutely love having these things. They are adjustable so you can adjust the height on these because they have like little foam roll things at the top. So you're able to kind of adjust the height based Based on the movement that you're about to do or going to do at home and I absolutely love these this is a game changer I like these for beginners just because you are able to be in control of the intensity of your movement so if you want a lot less intensity you have full control and full power in whatever you do in that movement so I absolutely love these things especially for beginners or especially if you're just trying to slow down your movements and you're just trying to work on time under tension or just tension in general highly recommend these suckers. And the next piece of equipment I'm going to be talking about is going to be a foam roller. Absolutely necessary to have a foam roller at home just because this changes the game for recovery and for delayed onset of muscle soreness, okay? Like if you are feeling tight or if you are feeling really sore after a workout, my first question is, did you foam roll? Because foam rolling is crucial and essential in your fitness lifestyle, okay? And that is something you need to have at home. So I absolutely love this. It is a pretty firm foam roller. I did get this from Amazon, I wanna say, and it is just like, it's just done me so much justice. I absolutely love this thing. Every time I finish a leg workout or a lower body workout, I make sure to foam roll just because it is so beneficial after you do your workout because it really helps with soreness, it really helps with tightness, and it just really helps with further complications that you could have from working out and not stretching effectively. So foam rolling you need to have at your home. And at last but not least, this is the first piece of equipment I have ever gotten, and that is going to be a yoga mat. Back before I had a lick of equipment, I bought a yoga mat just to do body weight exercises at home because whenever I first started working out at home, I wanna say my son was about three years old. I didn't really, I wasn't really in a position where I can afford a lot of different equipment. So what I did is I just, I was working at TJ Maxx at the time. I actually went to the fitness section at TJ Maxx, got me a little $5 yoga mat, take, took it home, and I 
I did my at-home workouts there and I absolutely love this thing. This thing has been with me through thick and thin and I absolutely love it. Especially since you can, it's really portable so you can bring this on the go. You can put it outside. That's what I used it for. I used to work out in the backyard and we had a small little cement patio in the backyard. And I used to lay it out in the backyard and just do whatever exercises I had for that day. So that way I could watch my son effectively whenever he was playing outside or he wanted to join in with me. And I wouldn't have to be on the ground per se. So I absolutely highly recommend 100%. This is the first piece of equipment that I got, especially since you don't need a lick of equipment. You really don't. Whenever you're working at home, you do not need equipment. And that was what I said at the very beginning of this video. However, it can be good to enhance your home workouts, especially if you want a little bit of versatility and variety at home. Just buy yourself a cheap little yoga mat from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and mm, there you go. But no matter where you are in your fitness journey, do not feel like you have to have a whole bunch of different equipment in order to get to your exercise or fitness goals at home. You can literally achieve any goal because all you need is commitment, dedication, and consistency, and you are good. You literally don't need anything. You don't need them, honey, please. Please, you do not need them, okay? And trust me, if you wanna go hard enough or if you wanna go bad enough, you will do whatever you can to make sure you get to that goal and nothing will get in your way. I guarantee you that absolutely nothing will get in your way. Whenever I first started my first prep for my first competition, I had every, every excuse, trust me. I had every excuse to stop. And if you've been following me on Instagram, if you've been following my journey, you know exactly what happened during my prep. But if you want something bad enough, you will let absolutely nothing get into your way. So if you don't really have that much equipment or you don't have the budget to get equipment at home know that you do not have to have a single lick of equipment however if you are at a point where you are ready to incorporate some versatility and some variety into your at-home workout then by all means go ahead and start with whatever I showed you here today my top favorite things to have as far as getting the most variety and versatility for your at-home workouts are going to be resistance bands they're going to include the long and the short resistance bands but if you had to pick one or if I had to pick one I would choose the long resistance bands because you can really get a lot out of long resistance bands you could really get a full body workout work out your lower work out your lower body work out your upper body everything in between I absolutely love long resistance bands and loadable dumbbells out of anything I would recommend having loadable dumbbells as well as your yoga mat too because with those three things you can really you can really get some things done at home okay let me just tell you you will destroy yourself in a good way because we have goals to reach And that's going to be it for my at-home gym equipment. If you guys like this sort of content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me know what you guys like to see. If you guys want to see different workouts with me using the equipment I showed you today, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below with what equipment. And also check out the other videos I have on my channel doing different at-home workouts using different types of equipment. But until the next video, you guys, bye.